What is a cork? Of course it's something that plugs up and seals an opening. But if you're interested in what goes on deep inside the ocean crust, your cork is at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, more than a mile and a half down, on the Juan de Fuca Ridge. It's sealing a borehole drilled 20 football fields deeper than the bottom into the seafloor. These corks are hubs for scientific research. They're subseafloor observatories. The upper ocean crust is the largest aquifer on Earth, holding as much water as all the ice caps and glaciers on the planet. This is mostly salt water, not fresh. But like fresh water on land, the salt water below the seafloor is in motion, moving from place to place across vast distances. Corks let people explore this undiscovered realm of water, rock, heat, and life inside the ocean crust. These corks on the seafloor are systems of hardware, plumbing, seals, and scientific instruments. Corks allow scientists to measure and sample pressures, temperatures, fluids, and microbial life along the boreholes. The data they collect can help them understand how microorganisms may have developed on Earth and how they could have developed on other planets, how the hydrologic cycle extends from continents to the seafloor, and how carbon is transported and might be stored within deep reservoirs which could have a significant impact on global climate. Installing the corks was no easy task. It required the power and capability of the research ship Joides Resolution to drill the holes. Once the core and the drill were removed, a re-entry cone, a funnel, guided the support pipe and instruments down the study hole. Then it was sealed from the ocean, corked. After letting conditions settle and return to normal, scientists began taking samples. The top of the cork that sticks out from the bottom is called the wellhead. It's surrounded by a round ROV platform. The area above the platform is divided into bays. Each bay contains the ends of long tubes that run from the wellhead, down through the seafloor seal, and deep into the borehole. These tubes connect to instruments and sampling points at different depths, allowing researchers to access these intervals over time to collect data and samples. The pressure bay contains highly sensitive gauges, batteries, and a computer that takes measurements. The long-term fluid sampling bay contains samplers that collect fluids from the depths. Another bay contains sampling valves for collection of microbial material from the crust below. And in some corks, there's a large ball valve used for a free-flow experiment. Long-term subseafloor observatories are transforming our understanding of what it's like deep below the bottom of the ocean. Through monitoring and experiments, corks are opening a window into a vast and hidden realm of crustal rocks, flowing fluids, and life.